What is up amigos? Today we're talking about one simple trick that significantly reduces the drag of a pickup truck and it does so by about three to five percent. It's very simple and it's quite amazing how it does it. So this comes from a paper called A Study of Drag Reduction Devices for Production Pickup Trucks. So pickup trucks in general, as a general rule and relatively speaking, they are not really optimized for aerodynamics compared to a regular passenger car. Very little has been done on passenger on pickup truck aerodynamics. And the main problem with pickup trucks is that as the flow comes along, we have a pickup truck here, it hits the roof and hopefully it stays attached along the entire thing. Then as it gets to the back, it separates because you have this bed here and the flow has to come along here and now you get a big recirculation zone and usually a big recirculation zone behind the bed here as well. So that means you have two quite large faces that are seeing relatively low pressure because it's in separated flow and that increases the pressure drag because you have high pressure at the front here, pretty high pressure on the front, but you can get a low pressure if you slant it more and slump the, the hood more. And then you have high pressure on the back and that results in a pressure imbalance and hence increased pressure drag. So that kind of leads us to the general idea of how the flow separates over this roof here at the back here. So generally, the traditional thing to do is just to make this a very sharp edge and that results in the flow separating and where it will hit next is really anyone's guess. It could hit inside the bed here. It could go really far away. It could hit right here and then come back down. And that in itself is the key to actually figuring out how to make this truck three to 5% less draggy, very simply. So let's say we want to blow up this section and we have a few different styles. So we can have it just dip down a lot and then there is a end of it there, or we can have it being still quite sharp or somewhere in the middle. And in this paper, these researchers found that there's actually an optimal position. So if the angle is too sharp, the flow will overshoot the bed and you get a really big recirculation zone here. And that actually still increases drag a lot. If it's too sharp coming down here, then the flow comes down and hits into the bed. And now we get a big recirculation zone in the bed and high pressure in here. And also, uh, sorry, low pressure here and high pressure at the back of the bed here because you have this flow coming in and hitting it and that increases drag even more. So there's a sweet spot where if it's just right, like the three little bears, the flow will come down and it'll hit just on the edge here of the bed. So that lip there and come down. What this does is first of all, you get rid of this high pressure on this face here but now you get a pressure recovery a little bit on the back face here. So that reduces the low pressure on this face, which then results in the pressure drag dropping of the entire car. And as I, said, as I said, this is about a 15 count reduction that they found for a regular pickup truck. And that means about a three to 5% reduction in drag, literally with just the last inch of the roof here, changing direction by changing angle by just a few degrees. So between zero and 20 degrees is the general range that you'll find. And depending on the truck, it might be 10 degrees, 13 degrees that you need to put this at to get this massive drag reduction. So that is a simple trick to make pickup trucks far less draggy. If you like this video, make sure to like and click the subscribe button and see you soon. Peace amigos.